A source close to former FBI Director James Comey tells me that there are two reasons why President Trump fired Comey. One, Comey's refusal to provide the president with any sort of assurance of personal loyalty. And two, the fact that the FBI's investigation into possible Trump team collusion with Russia in the 2016 election, that that's still not only an active investigation, it's actually accelerating. As CNN just reported, federal prosecutors recently issued grand jury subpoenas to associates of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Now, the White House officially disagrees with this theory of what happened. But mounting evidence suggests that Comey was fired because of the president's irritation with the FBI's Russia investigation. Now, the White House officially points to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, fresh on the job, writing a memo expressing concern about the way Comey had handled the Hillary Clinton email investigation last year. Rosenstein faulted Comey for being unfair to Clinton for, among other things, holding a press conference in which Comey, quote, released derogatory information about the subject of a declined criminal investigation. The president took the advice of the deputy attorney general who oversees the director of the FBI, brought those concerns to the attorney general who brought them to the president, and they made a decision to remove him. Now, that's the official White House version. The evidence to the contrary, however, is that we know from the president's public statements that he does not share any of Rosenstein's concerns that Comey was unfair to Clinton. In fact, the president has faulted Comey only for not going further, for not criminally charging Clinton. But in addition to that, that fact, Rosenstein's memo expressing his concerns, that was dated May 9th, yesterday. But White House officials tell CNN that the president had been considering firing Comey since the election, most intensely last week, we're told. Hmm. If only there was some way for us to see what was on the president's mind in real time last week. All right, there's Twitter. Let's take a look at the president's late night tweet storm of May 2nd. FBI Director Comey was the best thing that ever happened to Hillary Clinton in that he gave her a free pass for many bad deeds. The phony Trump Russia story was an excuse used by the Democrats as justification for losing the election. Perhaps Trump just ran a great campaign. White House officials tell us that the president last week was very frustrated about the Russia investigation. And let's take a look at the letter that President Trump wrote to Comey yesterday, firing him. Number of references to his concerns about the Clinton investigation, zero. But the second paragraph in the letter, that's all about Russia, with Trump claiming that Comey told him three times that he was not personally under investigation. Now, the White House apparently does not like any questions about any of this. You want to question the timing of when he fires, when he hires, it's inappropriate. He'll do it when he wants to, just like he fired FBI Director Comey when he was faced with evidence of, of, of that was unignorable now. Except, of course, that evidence about how Comey had treated the Clinton investigation that happened last year was quite ignorable for the president until apparently he needed a justification for firing Comey. And by the way, reporters questioning the White House and the timing and all that, that's quite appropriate. And we're going to continue to do it.